Hi, I'm Chris Thompson for Investor Intel uh, here at PDAC 2023 with John Cash, who is the President, CEO and Chairman of UR Energy. How are you doing today, John? I'm oh, doing really well, Chris. Thank you for having me. So UR Energy is an interesting company because it's doing in situ mining of uranium in Wyoming, in the United States. But more importantly, you just raised almost, what, 40, well, more than $40 million in cash. Uh, but you had a pretty big balance sheet to begin with. Maybe you can just talk about the money you had and the money you raised and what you're going to do with it. Yeah, so third quarter of last year, we reported that we had $37.3 million in cash. And so we've burned through a little bit of that as we're ramping up production at Lost Creek. Uh, but we had opportunity to bring some more money into the coffers. We wanted to do that so we wouldn't run low on cash during ramp up. We don't believe we will, but just as a buffer there. But also we believe that there will be some opportunity in the M&A arena here in 2023-24. So we wanted to position ourselves so we could be at the table for those discussions. So Lost Creek is an advanced stage uranium project in the U.S. It's in situ. Uh, you have some production. So let's, for people who don't know what an in situ uranium mine is, uh, maybe you can go in a little bit of detail for that. Yeah, sure. So in situ is a Latin word. It means in the place. So we don't actually dig up the rock. What we do instead is we install water wells. We inject chemicals like CO2, uh, baking soda, and oxygen that dissolves the uranium underground. And then we pump it up through the existing groundwater through a production well into our processing plant. So it has tremendous environmental benefits. Uh, the footprint is very light. When we get done, we'll clean up the surface and it'll be free release. It can be used for anything. We don't have tailings, we don't have overburden piles, nothing like that. So when we're done, you won't even be able to tell that we were there mining. And it also lends itself to very low cost mining. In this case, it's not a, a science experiment because you've been doing this for a while, right? We have. So how long have you been doing it and how much uranium have you produced already? So we started production in 2013 using this technology. Since that time, we've produced nearly 3 million pounds of uranium. So it's not an experiment. It works quite well uh, with that setting that we have at Lost Creek. And should point out too that about 50% of the world's uranium right now is mined through in situ technology. And the other half, of course, is, is uh, through uh, conventional technology. So it's well proven uh, in Wyoming and at Lost Creek. So at Lost Creek, you have uh, reserves already in place, uh, and, and you also have another place, uh, another project called Shirley Basin nearby. Uh, what are you looking to do at these places th this year? So at Lost Creek, we're in the process of ramping up. We've got a great resource in the ground there. Uh, we've never shut down the operation. We've always produced uh, since 2013. We did allow the uh, head grade to decline uh, beginning in really 2020 because we didn't have contracts uh, since then. But we've got contracts in place. We're working now to ramp up that production to fill those contracts. At Lost Creek, we'll do about 200,000 pounds of production this year, and we'll ramp up to about 600,000 pounds of production next year and for each of the five years thereafter. For Shirley Basin, we have all the permits in place for that project. Uh, we won't pull the trigger on that and build it out until we layer in good long-term uh, contracts. Uh, we're a very conservatively run company. That's how we operate. We don't sell into the spot typically. We're looking for long-term stability via contracts. Now you made a couple of announcements recently about the contract. So one was with the Department of Energy in the US and another one was with a couple of utilities or at least one utility. So uh, can you just get, provide a little bit of details of what these contracts are and how much they'll be worth to the company over the next couple of years and, and when they kick in? So the Department of Energy is the first one. It's part of the Uranium Reserve. The U.S. government bought right out a million pounds of uranium from U.S. producers. Uh, we had about 324,000 pounds in inventory that qualified, but we decided to only bid 100,000 pounds into that inventory. We were successful with that bid, and uh, they uh, accepted the bid at $64.47 a pound, which is a very nice premium to the existing spot or long-term price. And we just received payment on that about three weeks ago now, so that is uh, done. Congress is looking at expanding that program, but uh, we'll see where that goes in the future and if we have additional opportunity. Uh, but we've also announced two other sales contracts that are uh, we've signed up. The deliveries will start this calendar year. Uh, one is with a U.S. utility, another is with a uh, global uh, fuel supplier. And uh, we are uh, have contracts for 200,000 pounds this calendar year. 
It goes up to 600,000 pounds next year and for the five years thereafter. So that really locks in some really good long-term revenue for us. So for, for investors looking at a company like yours, right now you might not show much revenue on the books, but uh, quarter over quarter you'll be introducing that revenue into your financial statements. Yeah, that's exactly right. And those are very good priced contracts. The companies around the world recognize the security of supply out of Canada, Australia, and the U.S., and we benefit from that. So contracting prices right now are much higher than are what's published in the spot or the long-term price on the global arena. So you had a solid bank account. You raised a, a lot more money on that. Uh, what can investors look forward to for 2023 and early 2024 from your company? Yeah, so news flow going forward is the ramp up. Uh, within a few weeks, we should have meaningful flow from Lost Creek and production will be ramping up there. We're also working on installing our first monitor well at Shirley Basin and getting it in, in a uh, state where it's more ready to go into production. We want to be able to respond to the market uh, when uh, the time is right. But we've also been working on some research and development projects. Our attention has been diverted away from that for the short term because we're working on ramping up. Uh, I've only got so much bandwidth with manpower. Yeah. Uh, but as we move to, uh, through ramp up and as weather improves, we'll uh, go back to that research and development on well casing technology, but also on water treatment. We want to reduce our footprint uh, environmentally as far as we possibly can, and at the same time keeping the economics in mind as well. Well, that sounds great. I, I think a lot for investors to look forward to for this year. Thanks for your time today. All right, thank you.